Hey guys, Sean Bougie, surplusfundsriches.net. Two separate issues came up on one single file uh, today, and I need to cover that with you guys because there's some major misconceptions out there about two different impacts on surplus funds. One is, what if the person did have a second mortgage or an equity line or whatever, and that bank went out of business? What does that do to the ability to claim surplus funds? The second one is bankruptcy and how that impacts surplus funds. So I need to cover this really quickly with you guys because I think a lot of you have misconceptions on how bankruptcy works and how it, how it works when a bank goes out of business. Let's cover the bank going out of business first. So if there was a, a mortgage recorded or an equity line recorded against uh, the property before the sale, and it was not canceled, that has a priority claim to the overage in front of the owner. One of the arguments we've heard from people before is, well, Sean, the bank went out of business, so they're not, they're not entitled to anything, they're gone, that's it, so we don't have to count their claim. So when banks go out of business, and you can check this on Implodometer, I-M-P-L-O-D-O-M-E-T-E-R, Implodometer. Uh, when banks go out of business, there's a, a secession. Somebody takes over that debt. Now, whoever did, and usually it's JP Morgan, they own like all the crap debt on the planet, but whoever took over that debt is now the creditor, and they're due the money. Unfortunately, half the time, they're processing so much, so much information, they don't even know they own that debt. So the owner can get away with not paying that mortgage, and then they get foreclosed on for taxes quite frequently, okay? That doesn't mean that mortgage isn't owed. Somebody took over that debt, somebody's owed that money, and you're not gonna be able to go, hey, they went out of business, so our guy gets the money. It doesn't work that way. I wish it did. I wish it did, guys. There's no reason for us to BS you. I would love to make this industry even easier than it is, believe me. But a knowledge, a basic knowledge of how debt works, how banks work, particularly when they go out of business, and how bankruptcy works is kind of important, especially on the hairier deals, the deals where something like that comes up. Second thing that came up was bankruptcy. Now, a lot of you guys may have seen my video before. Back in 93, I had a business. I had hired one of my best friends from high school to run it for me. He ended up taking off with all the money, leaving me, kind of shafted me there and I had to go into personal bankruptcy because at the time I had backed up the business debt with personal loans. That hurt a little bit. Got out of that industry, went into real estate, haven't looked back, but I learned a lot about bankruptcy going through that. One of the things was in the bankruptcy, uh, you're allowed to say, hey, look, this is where I live. This is the house I have. I would like my home excluded from the bankruptcy. In that case, the bankruptcy court does not attach to that as an asset. It does not consider that an asset that can be liquidated or taken in order to satisfy creditors. They'll do that, okay? However, you still have to pay the mortgage to stay there. They don't just go, oh, that's your house? Oh my goodness, and you're going into bankruptcy? Oh, you get to keep the house, and you know what, Mr. Bank, you're not owed any money. Doesn't work that way. You still gotta pay your mortgage, and if you don't, the bank can foreclose on you, and they'll take the house. The second part to that is, if, if the bankruptcy court did take the property, let's say it was a second home or something like that, and it's no longer your house and it's gonna be sold. Recently, we had a deal turned in where the, the argument was made, two things, the bank went out of business. Secondly, oh, the bank wasn't entitled to the money anyway because the person went into bankruptcy. Well, are they living, were they living in the house? Yes. Well, obviously, the house was, was not considered a part of the bankruptcy, wasn't considered an asset that the bankruptcy court could go after. So that means the person still had to make their mortgage payments in order to stay there. Bank went out of business, That's and they didn't make their mortgage payments. Okay, but we still don't have a cancellation of the mortgage. We don't have a cancellation of the mortgage. So the court's going to go, mortgage is still here, still has to be paid, in front of paying out the overage, and if you can't find the bank that it's due, which you usually can with Implodometer, but if you can't find that, tough. You can't get the money, and you know, here's another final thing, final thing. 
people will say, well, all we got to do is make the claim and show up to court. And if the creditor doesn't show, they lose. We get paid and they don't because they didn't show up. Baloney. Their, their right to claim that money is there regardless if they show up for the hearing, if there's a hearing involved, or if they hit the claim. Okay? Bottom line is, if the debt was there, that debt has a priority claim. Period. Amen. The end. Hallelujah. Okay? So, guys, when you get hairy deals like that, understand there's no gray area with the court. It's either recorded as active and never was canceled, or it has been canceled and terminated. It's really that simple. And even when it's been canceled and terminated, you need to read the fine print on that cancellation or termination of the mortgage because sometimes it will say, hey, we're doing this just because it went through a foreclosure. The owner still owes us the money. We're just doing this to make sure there's clear title on the house being able to transfer. In that case, they didn't actually cancel the debt they canceled the claim against the property that does not erase their claim to the overage guys i appreciate and respect the optimism and the hard work people are putting in but you cannot assume anything you know what that does right have a good day